Hello, citizens of the internet. Welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft, Fire Tamers, SMP. Uh, well, you know what? It's one of those days. It's one of those days. I recorded half an episode. Or at least I, I, I thought I recorded half an episode, but I, I didn't record half an episode, so I actually built things. <laughs> and, uh, uh, stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Get plenty of sleep. Eat your vegetables. Getting old sucks. But anyhow, um, so what I'm going to do instead of actually rebuilding everything and pretending like I hadn't built them the first time, is I'm going to show you what I built show you how to build the basic stuff of them and uh then we're gonna go on with the rest of the episode which was getting the town hall set up over here and you can see i blocked off an area uh with uh, walls that is going to be the start of the village i mainly did that just because i want to have a nice protected area for our villagers where they don't get killed and we have a mod mega torches on here uh, so i should be able to put a couple of those down in that area, light it up and protect them so they don't get completely murdered uh, by the the hostile mods that are around here. Okay, yeah, no, not not friendly, not friendly stuff. So if that sounds like a plan, then uh, let's get started. Alrighty then. So I put a tower. I started doing some exterior work to this just to kind of like expand on the base. Uh, nothing is really done. I did add this area right here, like an outdoor area. Um, and I made this compacting chest because we have storage drawers on here and this is made with a couple of pistons um, and What else is that made out of uh, pistons for sure and some other stuff a storage drawer in the middle I believe and uh, some other materials uh, But what that does is as ingots come down here. Oh, and we are backed up Look at that with poppies. I actually need to put a sorting system on here because I knew that was gonna happen um how backed up are we? We're not too backed up over there. Um, this guy probably wasn't producing for a while, unfortunately. But what this does is it drops it in here and it takes those ingots and when nine come in, it can pack them automatically into a block like that. So we have um, two stacks right now of 64 blocks of iron and you can see it going through the ingots there and as it hits nine, um, it turns into another block and that number up there goes up one. So the compacting drawer is a good addition for one of these. I just need a way to sort out those poppies so they don't clog up the system. Because, um, yeah, that's not good. Um, but we're, we're not wanting for iron. This is plenty for us for now. And I could probably make some more trades and take care of that. I also made a waystone here that goes over to Nubs's base, uh, Berryville. And this is just made with smooth stone and an eye of ender, which I killed from one of those weird um, bat things, the, the eye bats. But this is the thing that I was doing the video of. And um, yeah, I, I don't know what, I really don't know what happened to it. Um, so this is a full tinker smelter station right here. Um, I'm going to take you through how I made this. And we can, I'll explain how it all works and all that kind of stuff, so don't worry. And, and this is the Tinker's Anvil, and I'll show you how I made that as well. All right, so let me grab some materials, and I'll take you through how I constructed everything. So how you get started in Tinker's with smelting is you need to first make grout. And to make grout, you use one clay, one gravel, and one sand, and that gets you two grout. Now, grout can be cooked. Oh, excuse me, Lulu. Jeez, man, always in my way. Um, it can be cooked. It can be uh, in a furnace. And it can be uh, used like for I have the smelter set up right here. So we can put that on there. And we can smelt two of these. And it turns into seared bricks when we do this. So wait here for a second. There we go. Seared bricks. Um, let me go ahead and make one more and you can do this in your two by two too because it's a simple recipe here so we have four total and i'll show you uh what we do with that all right there we go okay with four bricks uh you can come into a two by two crafting table and make what's called a seared brick just like that but i'm going to leave these uh right now because i have a seared brick right here so that's how you convert that but that's not the best way to make seared bricks and i'll show you a different way in the future um, but for right now, we get, we need stuff like this to uh, make our materials right here. Okay, and if we go into our inventory and go into JEI and type in seared, for example, uh, we would get the recipes for all of these seared things. So uh, the things you want to make right away are seared melter, 
and a seared heater. Um, and they are right here. So seared melter is five seared bricks around the bottom, just like this, with a seared, um, it's basically seared glass you put there. And if you click on that, you can make it like this uh, with the glass and it just could be normal glass and then seared bricks. Um, and then the next thing you need to do is a seared heater right here. And it's basically making a furnace out of seared bricks. So it's all the way around like that and that gives you a seared heater. You also need two additional items, um, mainly for casting and pouring out what you end up smelting. Um, you'll need a casting table, which is just seared bricks like this, um, like pants almost. And then um, a seared basin, which is the exact opposite of that. This will allow you to create blocks of um, the different alloyed materials or just like melted materials, not alloyed uh, for the seared heater uh, that comes with the smeltery. Uh, but uh, this, this makes blocks and then the other one will make uh, templates so you can make ingots and nuggets and different types of tools. So that becomes handy. And the last thing you'll need is a seared faucet, which is three bricks, just like this. Um, I like to make uh, this and have one on each side and then have the casting table and the, um, the, the basin. And I'll show you how I do that initially. Let's come out here into the open. Let's go over here. Um, so we'll grab our materials that we'll need. Okay, so you put your heater at the bottom and then you can put your melter on top of that. And then what I'll do is I'll put the uh, casting table in front and then I'll put the uh, basin on the side and you can do this any way you want, honestly. And then you put a faucet on this side and a faucet on this side right here. Crouch click, there we go. Okay, then in the heater, you can put in your fuel that you want to, to melt. And then you can put in any item that will actually melt in there. So you can put copper, you can put zinc, um, you can put, and this is what I wanted to show you, clay. Uh, because when you put two clay in here, so let's go ahead and open this up. We'll put down two clay like this. You can see that this heat bar goes up and it liquefies it and says it makes two bricks. So if we had a brick cast in here, we could click on the faucet and it would make actually two bricks. But we're gonna use clay to make getting seared bricks and we'll need a bunch of seared bricks or seared cobble or seared stone to make this uh, smeltery, right? So to do that, what you do is you come over to the basin, you can put down um, like just cobblestone, for example, or that could be a smooth stone or that can be a, a brick, uh, stone brick and you click on the faucet, it pours the molten um, clay over top of this and it turns it into a uh, seared cobblestone. And you can use this interchangeably with the rest of these materials if you want. But this is by far way more efficient than having to make it all out of the uh, seared bricks. So that is a that's a good time saver right there. Now, this will only get you so far, right? Um, you can, like I said, you can make casts and the way you do that is you put sand into the crafting grid and you get four of these blank sand casts. Oh, I guess I hadn't done that yet. But if you put that down in here, this is for like a one use only. Um, and then let's grab um, one of these seared bricks because it, it actually ends up um, right here. Boop, and then we can pull that out. Okay, and that's the same size as an ingot. So if we wanted to make an actual ingot, um, we can show this by melting one of the zinc, for example. So we'll click on here. We'll throw in uh, zinc like that, and uh, it'll melt a little bit slower than the clay, uh, but it'll turn into liquid. There we go. And if you uh, click on this, then that pours in here, and it'll make a zinc ingot, and it gets rid of your cast. So. If you're making tool heads, so like if you're making like a, um, what am I doing here? If you're making a iron tool head, you can come over here, make a wooden cast, um, like the head, put it into the sand or iron, molten iron in there and get an iron tool head. Um, but, but so what I did was I made all these seared bricks and I came over here and I made this monstrosity. 
which is comprised of several different components. Um, a lot of seared bricks. Um, you can make this out of as small as uh, just a one spot, but depending on how many open spots are in here. So like right here, it's nine by three high, right? So uh, nine times three, 27. And we have 27 spots inside here. And you can fill this up with anything from full blocks of materials to ingots to nuggets, and it'll melt it all down. Um, let's go ahead and we'll put a zinc in here and I'll show you how this works and a copper ingot like this. I'll put the zinc in first. And you can see where it kind of shows up here. You got right there zinc. Now if I put copper in here, because these two metals can be alloyed, um, that means they can be combined and turned into brass. As soon as this melts for a second, Oh, it turned it in right away and I got two brass uh, ingots, okay, worth of material. So I can come over here now and put down our casting basin. Oh, it's over here. Grab these again. I need to get a faucet. Stick the faucet back on here after I put the basin down. And we put this one right here. Okay. Um, faucet, where are you? There you are. So I could go ahead and make another sand cast, or if you melt, this guy keeps on coming over here. Go away, Lulu, go away, go away. No, go away, go away, Lulu. Um, you're crowding, you're crowding my space, Lulu. Go away, okay. Um, you can melt gold in here, put a brick down, for example, and pour the gold over top of it, and that gives you a permanent cast. Oh my gosh, Lulu, seriously. So we can go ahead and grab this gold cast, pour it down right here. And I also have this set up where if I flip this lever, it'll keep on running and pouring out everything that it can through this faucet or through this faucet. And it goes down here. And once it ends up becoming a solid block, it drops into this hopper, which goes into then this barrel. So let's go ahead and throw that. So this is in lieu of just continually hitting that. So if I'm making a bunch of stuff, this makes it go a lot faster. So there I have two brass ingots. Perfect. Let's go ahead and put this back there. I'm going to have to put you in timeout, Lulu. That's all there is to it. Now, the other components of this, we have these fuel tanks. Let's go ahead and go back into JEI and I'll show you how this is built. So um, a fuel tank right here is just a glass block surrounded by those seared bricks. And then we also have these, um, not the chute, it's the drain, seared drain, which are an ingots, a copper ingot, I mean, a, a seared brick and ingots of copper, and then another seared brick on both sides. And that allows you to actually get materials out of here. And so just because I like symmetry, I put a seared drain on both sides like that. And then I do two of the, um, fuel tanks on either side of the smeltery controller. The smeltery controller is four copper ingots melted and poured over top of a seared brick. So um, I did that in this basin uh, quite easily. I just melted the copper ingots uh, and kept on hitting that until it poured out over top of a seared brick. It turns into the um, seared smeltery controller right here. And this is kind of like the hub for where you put all your materials in and you can see the fuel gauges and all that kind of stuff. Now to fill these back up, you can see this one's kind of low right here visually. It just takes a bucket of lava and that's why I have the lava farm down there so I can just continually fill these back up again. You can see the level one up right here. And that's basically it. That's all this is. Um, it's a good way to alloy the materials. And I also put a seared ladder back here, um, which is, uh, once again, if we go into JEI, a seared ladder is right here. It's three of the seared brick blocks or the cobblestone or the regular stone uh, with the uh, seared bricks going up on either side like that. And that right there is basically an escape hatch because if you fall down in here, you start taking damage immediately and it drains blood, blood kind of nasty you can drop animals in here and they turn into blood which is you can use that to make pig iron and other kinds of weird things ah but uh that's too gross for me way too gross so if we go over the crafting table 
Then once you have your alloys uh, done, oh, I need to come over here first, grab these, and I need a couple more of the seared bricks uh, to show this, but I'm gonna make a tinker's anvil. So let me go ahead and make those seared bricks really quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, there we are. And to make a tinker's anvil, uh, come into the crafting table here and you do three blocks of brass or uh, there's other materials you can use for a tinker's anvil. Um, I like the brass for it. And then you put the seared bricks down here like this and that gets you a tinker's anvil. Now I'm going to go ahead and make another one of these because I'm going to give this over to uh, Nubs. Uh, he's going to trade me tinker's stuff for diamonds uh, because I, he has diamonds. I need diamonds. It's a good trade. Uh, but when you have the tinker's anvil, this allows you to make some additional equipment like the cleaver, um, the excavator, the vein hammer, which allows you to basically um, hit a vein of materials and it mines out that only that vein out, which is kind of cool. A sledgehammer, which I have, which is one of my favorite tools for um, strip mining. A broad axe, which kind of acts like a, um, a better way of cutting down wood if we didn't have the um, tree mod on here that allows you to take it down with an ax uh, normally. And then a scythe, which allows you to reap lots of plants and materials and plow and all that kind of stuff in a bigger space as well. So I hope that was a good enough explanation for what I did there. Um, if, if it's confusing, let me know. I, I, I really, I think this is the best way. You basically just make it three by three and then come up on the sides in the back. Um, Putting all you need minimally is one of these um, fuel tanks, a controller, and one of the uh, drains and a, and a faucet off of that into uh, either a basin or this. So you don't need to get this fancy, but I think this is really something that makes it a lot easier to have a setup similar to this. Okay, so now that we did that, I showed that hopefully. <laughs> Uh, hopefully I don't have more recording issues. I don't know what's going on. If it's me, if it's, the, I think I'm hitting record and I'm not, if I hit pause when I think I'm recording, I, I don't know, honestly. Um, but hopefully this is the last of that shenanigans. I'm going to go up here now and we're going to go ahead and place down the town hall. Oh, 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 actually first, 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 I want to make those mega torches. Uh, so let me go ahead and, uh, make the rest of those tinker stations down there. Take them over to Nubs' base, get the diamonds, and then come back. I did everything I was going to do over there. I made that for right now. Just kind of sprucing up the little base, make it a little bit nicer looking. I'm going to put a tower over here as well. Uh, some kind of roof up there. And maybe expand the walls around here to make it a little bit larger. But that's not what we're doing right now. We are actually going over here. And look at this. Jump over fences. Fantastic. I love that mod. Um, we're gonna go over here and place the town hall. I put some of these mega torches around. Uh, I think I put them the right distance away so we won't get spawns in here, but it's um, not entirely sure if it's right. Uh, they don't actually show you the distance. Uh, it's at a 16 or 32 block radius. Um, so I think it's correct. But uh, yeah, this is what they look like. They take uh, two diamonds, two blocks of gold, and um, three torches and two logs each to make one of those. But also, not what we're here for. We're here to place a town hall. And I think, I think, let's take a look at the journeyman's map real quick here. Uh, zoom in here a little bit and just kind of see where we want it. Um, I think I think right up here, this is where I was thinking about putting it. Um, and then we can start putting other buildings around at different places, like have like retaining walls and terraces and things as we go down. Um, but for right now, just keep it right up here. Like this will be the castle on top of the hill kind of deal. I think that's the best place. Oh, hello, Mr. Uh, drug me, drink, drink me. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll try not to interfere with your your like land here, but uh, I actually am going to interfere with it. I'm going to put I'm going to put a big old city here, Mister Drigmy. That's what's going to happen. I uh, I hope you like that. So let's see. Let's go ahead and just try it out right here. And we have the block. This comes when you uh, build a supply camp or supply ship. And we're going to put it down right there. And we're going to use the building tool. Okay. So this is set for decoration which we don't want we want the town hall and let's go think 
medieval and I want to do spruce since we have spruce trees around here I think they look really good too we'll pick that and just kind of take a look back and just see what this looks like um, right now not terribly impressive I think it actually needs to come up too um, let's raise this up a little bit here let's see yeah that's right there that's ground level all right and let us also go up to level five and see what this will eventually look like when we update it all the way because that's kind of the space we need to plan for so let's take a look Ooh, see that looks good that looks really good i like the way that looks um where is the main entrance for this though is this it um that's it's gonna be a side entrance right this has to be the main entrance no. Is this the main entrance? Does it not have a main entrance? Does it only have side entrances? That'd be kind of strange, wouldn't it? Huh. Maybe that is how this is done. It just has side entrances. That would be very strange. I guess, do we want to have it look like this then? Uh, do we want to have it face this way? I don't think so. I have to think this is the front right here. Um, yeah, so let's rotate it. Uh, let's see, go that way one. You can kind of take a look on the inside, just kind of see what it looks like in here. Neat, 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 okay. Come back here. That looks pretty impressive. Indeed, indeed it does. And does it fit up here okay? I think it does as well. I think it's looking pretty good actually. All right, perfect. Okay, I think we found our spot. I think we found our build. Um, but we'll go down to level one and see what this looks like here. Let's go away. There we go. Where's that level two? That's gonna be level two, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, there's level one. All right, we are going to go ahead and uh, pick this for sure. When we'll just do click this right there. And look at that, start our colony, fantastic. Now what's going to happen is magically villagers are going to drop out of the sky and uh, we're going to assign them to work. But one of the things we have to get them to work on right away is a builder's hut because we're going to need a builder to build this townhouse, townhouse, town hall. And um, then we'll put another builder to work as a builder. We'll have two, wait, two citizens as builders and then one as a courier. I think that's how I think we're going to do it like that. So for today's episode, I think what we'll do is we'll get the builder building the builder's hut and then um yeah that'll be it and then we'll start the town how town how uh, town hall thank you tongue um next episode i think that's how we'll do it okay i made a little area over here for us to kind of like rest and things reset the day uh if we're over this way and just kind of get things started um having a crafting table always helps for this stuff because you're going to be crafting uh some things mainly blocks so so let's go ahead and make a builder's hut so the way we do this is you have any kind of wood that you're you're using like since i have a lot of spruce we're going to use spruce here a door right here and then the build tool at the top and that gets us a builder's hut. And this is what is going to allow us to assign a builder uh, profession to hopefully one of the one of the people that's going to show up here. I haven't seen any. Usually they pop in sooner than this. Um, I'm wondering if those mega torches are actually keeping them away for some reason. That'd be weird, but it's possible. I don't know. When you're working with mods, you know, crazy stuff happens. So hopefully we'll get somebody eventually here. Um, but we're going to want a builder's hut somewhere near here. And I don't think I want it up on the hill right with this. So I think what I'm going to do is put it down here a little bit, um, maybe here, and then we can cut it into the here or maybe make a retaining wall of some kind. But I think this is probably a good spot for it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put it right here. So we'll place this down. You need to place a town hall first. I did. Oh, you know what? Ah, 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 ah. You know, I never activated this. That's the deal. No colonies found. You do not currently own a colony. Ha. Ah, well, guess what? We're going to create a new one. 
All right, word is out. Now they're going to show up. That's why it didn't happen. So let's see here. Colony name. Uh, Rename colony. Dadge G colony? No, I don't think so. We're going to call this Dadlandia. There we go. That's a good name for our colony. So there's Dadlandia. Um, oh, there, there they are. See who we got here. We got Glover. Related to Donald Glover, maybe? Johnny E. Glover. Okay. Um, we just, okay. Where was I? I, I? I got distracted. See, you know, there's so much in modern Minecraft. In modern Minecraft, there's so many intricacies that you have to keep your eye on because if you don't, you forget how to do all these things. So where was I? I think we were right here. Let's go ahead and put this down. And we'll see where we can place it. Uh, use the build tool. And we're going to go to same kind of thing. We're going to go to medieval spruce. Um, there we are. And let's go to level five and see what this looks like. Okay. Okay. Where's the entrance? Right here. We want to turn it this direction. So we'll move this over to that. There we are. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Um, can't really see the town hall right now, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be right down here. We'll have the, the main road going down. Um, do we want that to be a little bit higher, maybe? Maybe. Let's go ahead and pump it up one here. And I can always... Um, Fill this in with dirt, not a problem if we need to. Yeah, I think this might be better. How does it look back here? I think that looks pretty good. Okay, we will keep it there and we'll do whatever we need to do with the dirt and whatnot to make sure that it works. So let's go back down to level one. Um, okay, yeah, it's going to have us come up quite a bit, but I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and we're going to say build this. All right. Now there's not currently a builder employed. Um, oh man. The block got buried. Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. For some reason I was having like uh, loading issues. Like it was not loading in and I was like, where is it? Where is it? I'm freaking out. So if we click on this now, um, it tells you kind of like a uh, little bit about what these different areas are. Uh, so you can click the pages up here. Uh, some buildings have extras if there's that symbol down there. And uh, you can always have an overview of the combined building inventory. Okay, cool. Let's look at this again. All right, understood. There we are, checking out the guide. What is it? Uh, 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 Henley X. Tenley? Tenley? Tenley X Colt? Stop being so bossy. All right. So we are going to see manage workers. And here's everybody that's available to us in the colony. There should be four people. And it always highlights the color, the color and green of what is the most critical skill for this type of profession. And there's usually a secondary skill. So it looks like for this one, it's athleticism and adaptability. So adaptability is primary, athleticism is second. And it looks like the best person, really, from an average standpoint, is Tenley X Colt, this person right here who's standing right here. Maybe that's why they're here. Um, even though they're too lower on adaptability, they are, you know, higher on athleticism than uh, Arthur Idale. All right, all right. Okay, these names, I swear. So let's go ahead and we'll pick Tenley here. I need to turn hiring it on first over here. So to manual, let's go back over here. Um, Hire mercenaries, no, we don't need to do that. Information, permissions, there we go, nope. Citizens, settings, okay, worker, hire mode, automatic. Um, 
We're gonna change that to manual. Housing assignment automatic. That's cool. Uh, we don't want kids just yet, so let's go ahead and we'll wait on that one. Let's go back down here and see if we can hire uh, Miss Colt here. Oh, so they already hired uh, Gina Glover. We're going to fire that person. All right, we're going to go down here to um, Miss Colt. We're going to hire, okay? And... Oh, there you are. Okay. And let's go ahead and uh, go to build the, the whole thing. So here's what we'll need. We'll need some frame spruce planks, which we'll have to look up the recipe for that one. Uh, dirt, uh, quite a bit of dirt. Crafting table, spruce door, cobblestone stairs, cobblestone slabs, uh, coarse dirt, fences, cobblestone. Okay, so we'll have to get all this stuff, and I'll show you another thing we can build really quick that's going to make this easier to manage as well. So we'll uh, build building. There we go. The builder begins. Let's hope so. Let's ho let's hope. Let's hope we get this correct. <laughs> so. Okay, so the two things we're going to do is we're going to make a clipboard and a resource scroll. So a resource scroll is two leather in the middle like this and then sticks on both sides going down like that. And then you use your build tool and you get a resource scroll. This is specifically for a build. And then the one that I like even more than that is the clipboard, which is just like this. And this gives you kind of an idea of what every need in the village is. So we can go ahead and look at this. I think we actually have to click it on the town hall first. There we go. Okay, so all requests for Dadlandia will come in here and we can kind of click on it and see. So right now, uh, Tenley needs, she needs shears, which is kind of weird. I think it's probably to get rid of this. They just can't punch it and break it, which we're gonna go ahead and do this for her. There's no sense in giving her shears for that. Um, she'll probably need also um, some kind of tool Besides shears, um, probably pickaxe and shovel to start off with, would be my guess. We'll see how that goes. Take this out. She's still saying she needs shears for something. Um, we can go ahead and build her shears really quick. There we go. So they get working here real quick. But with the resource scroll, what we can do is we can crouch click on the building we're looking at right here. And this will give us a list of everything that we need for the build and where we stand with it. So we have, we need some more dirt. We need, need more spruce fencing. There, so yeah, she just needed to kind of get that out of, her, out of the way there, uh, that she needed that for some reason. So now she's working ahead. Um, Let's go ahead and start working towards getting these things built for her. Another new kind of tool we're going to have to build is called an architect's cutter. And I think this is relatively new to uh, 1.18.2 of uh, my colonies because I don't remember this in 1.16.5. So let's go ahead and make it. Um, it looks like it's we need uh, some stone slabs. We need uh, three to be exact and we need some wood and some iron, which I think we have all of those. So let's go ahead and uh, grab iron out of our backpack here. We just need one for the saw blade. If we come in here, we do three across like that, three logs on the bottom, and then one up here, and we get the architect's cutter. Now this is how we're gonna make a lot of the blocks necessary for these builds going forward. So right now our uh, builder needs, let's go ahead and look at the sheet here they need it framed spruce um and if we click right here where is it right there uh craft in the architect's cutter framing type plane material spruce planks center material spruce planks so let's go ahead and see if we can do this i'm not exactly sure how this works yet as i said I've, this is new to me so we put that in there it looks like these are the materials we can get from that if we do maybe one here and one here uh, that gets us some more options. Are one of these the framed spruce planks? They are, okay. So, okay, this is it right here. You have to be very careful. It's This one is like plain type. That's the one we want. So go ahead and grab these. And it looks like it's just the two up here that you need to put them in for this recipe. So let's just go ahead and convert the rest of these 
We just need to make sure that we're clicking on the right one here. Because we'll probably need a bunch of these going forward. So um, let's just double check, make sure that is correct. Yep, that is correct. Okay, let's go give her 11 of these. There we go. So she should be okay now. Okay yep, awesome. Now I went ahead and I started a second builder up here. Um, this person should be working on this build. I'm going to do my best work for you. Uh, I could help you with that. Like he doesn't say that he needs anything. Uh, maybe I should associate this one right here and see what's missing. Requires resource Arthur Argyle. Um, I'm going to do my best work for you. That's wait, is that who I hired? Work, work. I guess I did. Something's not right with this uh, I dude. Help you with that. I think I need to fire him. So let's go ahead and get in his inventory here. For you. Grab all this stuff out of there. See if we can get this to uh, maybe re-engage here or uh, get a different builder working on this one. Fire. Uh, let's do, I guess, the next best one right here. Fire. Let's see if she will work for us. Or, or he, I guess. Ah, their names are not showing up up here. That's kind of weird. Hope that's not a big problem. And just like that, we're done. The Builder's Hut is done. Okay. Um, we are done with our first Mine Colonies building. The Builder's Hut. Fantastic. And while Tenley works there in the background, working on our second Builder's Hut, uh, I, think I, I think I realized what I did there. I never assigned uh, that person that I hired to actually build that building. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, so much to keep track of, so much to keep track of. Uh, but hey, we got our first building here. It's um, it's it's beauteous. It is beauteous. And once we get this going here, we will start working on the town hall. I will figure out how to get these people to work properly one of these days, one of these days. But if you've enjoyed what you've seen, like to see more from the Dad's Guide in the future, you know what to do. Click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and press that notification bell. I think next time we are just going to keep trucking away at getting our little colony set up here. Uh, I need to figure out some way of keeping those Eye of Ender bats flying in here and hurting our citizens. Or I'm going to have to get guards going right away um, with bows and maybe they can take care of them. Although bows I don't think work. I think bows work against Endermen. Maybe I should actually put golems around here. I have plenty of iron and I have there's some pumpkins right down below me here. So yeah, that might be a good idea. Just have a bunch of golems run around inside here. I think that's a good idea. If I miss anything, let me know. I think I figured it all out, but uh, so far, so far. But if you have any suggestions, click in that comment section below. Send me a comment. Tell me I did something uh, incorrect or tell me I did something right or tell me you learned something or uh, tell me how I can improve on uh, something that I've been doing kind of inefficiently. That would be fantastic. But until next time, bye for now.